So, uh, river tubing adventures this week on vacation. Pretty exciting. This is pretty close. I bet you this looks weird. So I'll make some videos of our uh, river tubing adventures this week. Um, some other things and put together a video and have it up this weekend for you. It'll be my first one of these, so I'm pretty excited about that. We are coming up to a really cool area where we'll be able to see some of those uh, limestone, uh, like little bluffs and stuff I was talking about earlier. So that'll be pretty awesome. We're out here with uh, Silly's or Selly, uh, Tammy, my wife, and our dog Pip. Here's, uh, here's Pip. Hey, Pip. No, Say hi, buddy. Pip. Hi, buddy. Hi, peoples. Yep. So that's that's Pip. He uh, he's out tubing with us. This is a campground here on the left of me, right along the river. Our campground's on the river as well. It's just not this one. This is a, another really nice one, though, where we had tried to get a spot, but they were all full. And uh, here comes like a little rapid area. It's not like really bad. It's just uh, a little bit of rapids to go through with the tube. We've gotta watch our butts. Yeah. It hurts if you hit your butt, so you got to be careful of your butt. There's where the, the rocks will be up there where it's really uh, rapidy-ish up there, yeah. All right, that's good. We're going to go right into the big, the big area right there. Watch our butts. Cold. Yeah, so that's kind of a, that area we just went through right there. Yeah, so now we're back into more of a, a calm area. Not quite as crazy, but the, it is shallower through here, so gotta be careful of the rocks. Those things hurt your tailbone if you hit your tailbone really really bad we're just uh passing that campground behind us that's the edge of that and then we're going to be out in the middle of nowhere again until we get to our campground which is a, a ways down the river here still there's some rocks so you just don't want to hit the rocks done it before, huh, Pip? Hey, okay, first time, huh, Pip? Pip. It's like camping. Just look. Hey, buddy, look. look Hi, buddy. What are you doing? This is our vacation. What are we doing? Just hanging out, having a good time. Relaxing. Being super duper chill. Just enjoying the weather because it's beautiful out. You're just cruising down the river because the water feels good, especially when it's warm out like this. You all good now, Pip, huh? All good now, Pip? We gotta get ready to come up to the cool part of the river here with the big limestone walls on either yeah. side. So that'd be pretty cool. Oh, no, buddy. Probably would come. You don't want to put gas in that vehicle. You don't want to have to stuff next week. That's fine. That's fine. Can I hold a GoPro for you? Yeah, it's, deep. it's pretty deep right here. You're gonna see all the bluffs, how close you are to the bluffs. Yep. Cool little uh, area there behind us. And there's more right there's here. There's a bunch kind of all through here, and this is an area where we came with our son one time and a catfish jumped in the tube. And that he was, lost his shirt. That was funny, then he lost his shirt because he fell out of the tube because he was like scared or something. I don't know. It was pretty epic. It was uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, we're just uh, tubing on the Shell Rock River, just uh, south of Plymouth, Iowa, northeast of Mason City, Iowa. It's a beautiful little area. It's getting kind of cloudy again. Wish the sun would come back out. It makes a big difference. Makes it feel uh, much better. We do have a little area of rapids coming up. Nothing crazy. Just a 
a little bit shallower area with some rocks under there makes it exciting to go through again just the the cool bluffs in the background behind me are not really bluffs they're just walls limestone walls a lot of limestone through here there's a lot of limestone mines and stuff back in the day up in this area yeah, it's about as deep as this watch your butts I don't know if there's rocks here or not i'm sure there are getting kind of close to our uh, our area again yeah so we're probably we're a little over probably halfway from where we started to where our campsite is it's uh like 40 minutes or so so yeah a little over an hour and then this is the the short river run that we do the long one's about three hours of tubing down the river that one's like when we have family and stuff come with us we all tie our tubes together and tube down that was a, a really long one a fun one um, things like that so this here is just a, a really calm area lost some sunglasses in the water here one time and we had to stop the tubes and get out and we ended up finding them fortunately some uh, Oakley's I had thanks to uh, wife Tammy jumping in saving them for me I, I thought I stepped on a fish or something I was like just get it something's at the bottom of my feet something she just happened to step on my glasses. So that was exciting. That was fun. Not scratched or anything though. Nope. Yeah, but this is just a really fun thing to do if uh, you've never done it before. You. She'll hold the dog, record me trying to stop us and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, it's just a super nice area right now. Yeah, I do I wish the sun was out because it's a little chillier with the sun behind the clouds. Only like... 83 or 84 degrees right now. Let me look here. It's not helping me get my tan. Yeah, it's uh, it's not very warm out. Come on, buddy. Pip, hi, buddy. I'll give you a treat when you go back to camper. You want treats? You were so good. You're doing very good. It's not so a, fun area. It's a fun area. Tammy's scared. I'm not. I'm not scared. I'm worried. I have. I have a puppy with us. Why'd you bring the puppy? I'm not just gonna leave him in a camper. <laughs> so you're fine, huh, Pip? You know how to swim. You're all right. You can swim. It's not that bad. It's not like it's rapids. It's just I like. I know it's not rapid rapids. It's just a little bit of stuff, which is okay. But yeah. I still get concerned. Coming up to the next uh, it's a rapid area, so this will be fun. It's exciting. And here we go, you can see the... <laughs> Whoa, we got a lot of water in us that time. <laughs> Pip got soaked. <laughs> Is that fun? That could, have been, that could have been a flip there, Pippers. That was close, buddy. Grandma had you though. That's why we weren't turning because Grandma was concerned about you. That was a close one, Pippers. We're going back to kind of a, this, this is going to be kind of like a, a rapid area for the rest of our, our trip up here. And uh, down there, past some trees and stuff, is where we actually get out. So we're almost to our, we're almost to the end of our little trip. Little Before the next okay. big corner. But yeah, some more. Cool limestone formations there. It's just very pretty and scenic. Yeah, it is scenic. It's very scenic. Got a bunch of dead trees in the water up there. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Fortunately, we won't go towards them, I don't think. Tammy steers us right. <laughs> Damn it, Tammy. Yeah, then down there, you can kind of see a big tall tree down there. That's kind of, that's where we're gonna get off right before there. There's a big tuft of grass out in the, the middle of the river. That's our exit. Because if we go around that corner, it's a big rapid, really big rapid. And then we can't get off until we're way past our camper.
Yeah, at least he's gonna probably be tuckered out. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do you want me to take that water pit? You'll probably need the other one. You don't want to drink out this. And then I'm riding my bike back to get the truck since it's just my wife and I and we've only got the one vehicle with us. So we brought our bikes so we can ride our bikes back to the area where we got in. And then uh, I'll load my bike back up in the truck and drive it back here. And then uh, I don't think we're going tubing again tonight. It's uh, getting a little later in the day. So we'll probably wait till tomorrow to go again. Or the next day tomorrow is supposed to storm. Well, who knows, maybe we'll have the kids come out with us and then we'll have two vehicles and won't have to ride my bike back and forth. Because this is quite the bike ride. It's not like there's big hills or anything, it's just a gravel road. It's really bumpy, in case you can't tell from the video here clothes on because I'm soaked from the river still from getting out. But it's a beautiful area to ride through here so uh, I don't mind the bike ride. You see the river down over here. That's the river we just came down tubing. the big rapids there. There we go. This is a nice day for a bike ride. A little bit of cloud cover makes it so it actually feels pretty dang good out right now. There's the river down there again. The area we were just tubing in a little bit ago where I talked about losing my sunglasses right there. One thing I like about the, the Midwest is summertime, it's beautiful here. You know, Florida is an awesome state, but summertime it's almost too damn hot to ride a bike. Um, the mercy, I'll tell you, there's days he probably feels like dying when he's riding his bike around town, even at night when the sun's not out. Nice up here in the Midwest. That was like 80, 82, 84 degrees, something like that right now. Humidity is probably around 50%. Not bad. Where Florida would be like 90%. It'd be terrible. So I can deal with this. So the only part about this that sucks is gravel road. Um, fortunately, I don't have like a 10 speed. I've got an actual. Uh, like cruiser bike, a little, uh, it's aluminum, super lightweight, six speed. So it's got some nice big tires on it, 29 inch, something like that. They're big. So I can get going down the road here pretty good. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but being overweight doesn't help. But if I uh, do this enough this summer, I lose some of that weight, to be honest. <laughs> Man, slight incline. It's not a big one, but it's a steady incline. Get into some shade trees here. Get out of that wind too. That wind is a bitch. Right here, I'm sure you can probably tell just by the sound. It's quiet now. But I believe it's like a about a 20-ish minute bike ride to where the truck is. And, uh, you know, tubing down the river, it's about an hour and a half. You know, by, by truck, it's like a five minute drive. But the river really meanders around and it moves slow. Uh, today it actually moved kind of fast, it seemed like. Uh, but it's still super slow. There are some areas that go faster than others. But overall, not bad. And then uh, one thing. As you look over this way, you'll see the cornfield next to me. Just all the different shades of green. That's something that's really cool about the Midwest that when we moved back here, I noticed 
was all of the different shades of green. I must have uh, forgotten about when we lived in Florida. Then over there, there's that campground we were uh, floating by earlier. Had kind of the rapid area and stuff. So yeah, this is not a, a bad bike ride at all. Everyone in the Midwest is super friendly. If you didn't know, everyone waves at everybody. It's uh, taken me some time to get used to again. I've been back here for two years after having lived in Florida. People don't wave at you like they do here. Like literally I'm just riding a bike down a gravel road. Everyone that passes me waves. So getting back into the, the swing of remembering to wave at them took some time. And like, I don't know how many times I've, you know, driven by someone on the highway and someone waves and I've totally forgotten. And I'm like, oh shoot. And it's funny because I was having a conversation with uh, someone I work with the other day about that. And they were like saying how they feel it's rude if someone doesn't wave back to them. So even though it's a complete stranger, someone they've never met before, they think it's rude to not get that wave back. So I've been really working on that. They talk about uh, people in the Midwest being super friendly. That's just part of it. People here are really, really friendly. I'm sure everyone will tell you that. Sure, you've got your occasional asshole or whatever, but for the most part, everyone's pretty cool around here, especially like where we are. So everyone's really cool. And again, there's that campground over there we tubed by earlier. So we wanted to get a, a spot there, it's just a little bit quieter campground. The one we're at is kind of a, I don't want to say it's like a party campground, but there's a lot of parties at the campground. <laughs> we're, this one here, they'll occasionally have like a band and stuff there. And we'll come up here and we can sit like right here and watch the band actually. But it's uh, just super quiet as you guys can kind of see over there. The river tubing is a lot shorter than this one though. So that's one reason I'm glad we're at the one we are. Because it's a lot longer river tube ride. Yeah. Still a nice area. The place we camp. It's a... Uh, it's still really quiet like during the week but like, there's no one else there and stuff there's a couple families there this week on vacation and everything but we kind of have a place to ourselves on this i do love bike riding this is a uh, one of those hobbies of mine that i just really really enjoy tammy and i both have nice cruiser bikes we bought when we were in florida so we used to ride our bikes six to 20 miles a day um, and we haven't been doing that much since we've been back here, which I really miss. Because I do love riding bikes. Great exercise. Get you out. Get you clear your mind a little bit. It's just super chill. Now I'm on a big hill. And this kind of sucks. It's been a long time, like I said, since I rode a bike. Oh yeah, I feel the burn in my legs now. Almost to the top. I don't know if you can see, it probably doesn't look like much. But that's a good sized damn hill. <laughs> now I can go downhill though. And we're almost to where the truck is. Getting close anyway. Yeah. And now I got some speed going, going downhill. If anyone's looking for like a good cruiser bike, they're tall, like I'm 6'4". So finding a bike that was comfortable to ride took a bit. This uh, GX7 though, fits the bill. I love this bike. Never really had any problems with it. I've had it for a couple years now. But, oh my gosh, so many miles on it. Riding it all over Florida, like I said. And uh, I need to spend some more time riding it here i do want to get a, a fat tire bike that's next on my list because those are those are nice to ride and then i could ride those in the winter time and stuff versus this which like i said it's not a 10 speed it doesn't have small tires but you know they're not they're not designed to ride in the snow and stuff they're okay for like gravel and uh, pavement and sand not so much for snow that's where the truck is I can see it now. So that wasn't too bad. It looks like uh, 
I don't know how much time the screen's off on the camera right now. But, and I've been talking the entire time, not just riding my bike, so I could have probably done this quite a bit faster still, to be honest. But it's all right, it's a good little bike ride. Burn some calories, got a decent little sweat going right now. And now I'm gonna jump in the truck, head back to the camp. And uh, I'll be making some more videos this week, recording some stuff, trying to put together a nice little YouTube video to upload this weekend sometime. Yeah, then here you see someone left their trash. That's one thing people suck sometimes. Don't take care of things, they just leave their trash on the ground, which is really annoying. That's a, it's a Genesis, I guess. A Genesis GX7 bike is what it is. But it's a decent little bike. And uh, talk to you guys later.